Hello, everybody. This is weird, a bit of a different setup for me. I'm currently in my uni flat at the moment, but I just had to film because I have discovered a website and it is everything I could possibly want. Now, something I haven't really talked about a lot on this channel, which is weird for me, is that I am a huge Doctor Who fan. I am a massive Whovian. It is probably my favorite thing ever and I have just been waiting for the right time to make a Doctor Who video. And I saw Crispy Pro has made videos like this, and I was like, oh yeah, we gotta get on that. There's two things I love, it's quizzes and Doctor Who, and this is the perfect combination. Sorry if the camera shakes, I'm resting this precariously on a stack of my bedding. Currently, this is what we're gonna have to make do with. Uh, this in this filming location, but I do have my TARDIS bedding behind me, which is very cool. And then I just thought, I found these lately at a charity shop, and I thought, well, why not? I'm also wearing a Dalek t shirt. So, this website is called Hoodle. I'm guessing it's like a parody on Wordle, and it looks like every day it posts a new screenshot from an episode of Doctor Who, and you've got to try and work out what episode that is. I'm very, very excited. There is a website called Sporkle, which is great for fandom quizzes. I'm on it all the time. That's the website I use to test my knowledge on the episode names, and that's why I can name all 179 in order. I suppose it's 181 now, because I'm filming this just as the new two episodes have just come out. Let me know your thoughts on those, by the way. Um, I, I like them. So without further ado, let's just give it a go. I'm not completely confident, but We'll see. So it looks like you get five guesses to just write down an episode. Okay, this is tricky if you don't know episode titles, but luckily I do. Okay, so what have we got here? It looks like maybe an elevator, a lift of some kind. It's not really giving me anything at all. There's some scratching there, right here of some sort. I don't know if that's relevant at all. It's sort of giving me Army of Ghosts Doomsday vibes, like, Torchwood one base, maybe, but the color scheme, I'm not sure. This is a really tricky one to start with, bloody hell. I promise I'm usually really good at these, but there are just some. Like, how are you supposed to know this? If any of you have looked at that and you know instantly, I, I bow down to you because you are better than me. I'm really not sure. It's the first one, it's not going well for me. I think my instinct is Army of Ghosts or Doomsday, just because it's giving the vibes of maybe the room with the sphere. Other than that, it's kind of giving maybe a state building sites. So it could be um, end of time. It could be something set on the power estate, or it could be a spaceship door. I hadn't thought about that. Like 42, although it looks a bit too plain to be 42, or maybe the end of the world. I'll go with my first instinct, which is Oh, I put Amory. Amory of Ghosts. Army of Ghosts. We will go that as my first guess. Oh my god, what's that? No, okay, that was wrong. Oh, you get five pictures. I see. I thought I was going to have to go five guesses off of that whole thing. We're definitely in season one or possibly early season two, judging by the camera quality. That does look to be maybe the Powell Estate. So I think I was possibly right there. It could be Christmas Invasion, because that's very much set around the Powell Estate. It could be Aliens in London, World War Three. It could be Rose, to be honest. I want to get this, obviously, in five, but we can get if we can get it in less, that would be brilliant. This is tricky, tricky, tricky. I always find season one really tricky, um, but I think it is season one. It could be School Reunion as well, but it doesn't look like the school. I see a little wheelie bin in the corner there. And it makes me, it puts me in mind of the infamous <laughs> Mickey getting sucked into the wheelie bin scene in Rose. So I'm going to go for Rose as my second guess. It was, yeah! Okay, we got it in two, we got it in two. Good job, everyone. Good job. You didn't help me, but you know, you were here in spirit. Okay, I did wonder if it was Rose from the first image. I said it looked estatey but I went with my gut on the first one. And a lot of the time, my gut is wrong. <laughs> so that was a success. Obviously I would like to get them in one, but getting them in two, 
not bad. The camera quality does help a lot here, but let's have a go at yesterday's. We're just gonna work our way through, to be honest. Ooh, okay. So we've got traffic lights on a red and what looks like hair here. Is that hair? It's an interesting, oh, you know what? I think it's a horse. <laughs> I was like, that's an interesting hairstyle that is, but looks like horse with some ears and a, and, a, and a mane as horses tend to have. We're definitely modern day. We're not future, we're not past, we're not space. This is definitely earth, present day, or I suppose back a bit. It doesn't look like anything past season five. I'm gonna guess it's five back because the camera quality is not like that HD that they got. You know that time, I think it, it was like season six when Doctor Who and like Merlin became really high quality. Does the red light have any significance? Who knows? It's giving like a scene where we follow someone through a crowd. I mean, the significance of the traffic lights is giving turn left, but it really doesn't feel like turn left to me. I'm just thinking, does the do the traffic lights have any significance at all? Probably not. It's probably just a random episode. I've really got nothing to go off of here. I'm gonna say we're in Tennant's era here. That's what I'm feeling. So let's think about modern day Tennant episodes. It could be end of time, possibly. I don't think it's a Christmas episode. I'm feeling end of time, you know, I'm not sure why, but we're gonna go for uh, oh, do you have to get it specific with End of Time Part 1 or 2? I imagine it would be Part 1 if it was that. And um, submitting. Oh, okay. Well, hello, sir. <laughs> we know what this is then. So I was wrong about it being Season 5 backwards. We are in Season 6. He's in the box and the Doctor goes to see him. I, I'm going to have to try Wedding of River Song because that's the only place that I believe see him again there we go okay got it into i'm not that impressed with getting it into this time around because that was a pretty obvious clue there with his big old blue head in a box and that only happens once side note first time i watched good man goes to war terrified of the headless monks <laughs> okay we've got david tennant with a bow and arrow gosh Something like that should instantly pop out at me, shouldn't it? We know that he has arrows in Blink, but when we see him with the arrows, he is on a street. So I'm ruling that out. When do we see him with a bow and arrow? Am I missing something really obvious here? He's in what looks to be a forest. Not the forest of the dead, that's for sure. I don't think it's Day of the Doctor. Again, the camera quality doesn't look as good and David Tennant looks younger. I'm just gonna have to go into my mind palace for a second. I got nothing. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. I feel like it's like a, a beginning scene that doesn't really have any relevance to the rest of the episode. Because I really feel like I would have spotted this and have some memory of it, but I do not. I'm just gonna have to go with Blink because that's the only time I can remember him having a bow and arrow. That's the only time. But he was in the street, so it's probably not that, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, it's not. It's what I thought, but we, I had to rule it out. Oh my God, what is this? Surely I would have some memory of this. Dancers. Bow and arrow and dancers. You think those two images would strike something up in me? And yet, nothing. Is this like on TV? I gotta, I gotta get a closer look. Are they in the cinema? Oh my God, I've got no idea. I've literally got no clue. This feels like the master's doing. I'm just gonna go sound of drums because I have no other guess. This is wrong. Okay, we've got a we've got a magazine swirling about. What does it say? Missing Christmas? I'm getting nothing. Could it be Unicorn and Wasp? I'm just thinking about like sort of time period. God, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Golly, golly gosh. Oh, I sound so posh in these videos. I don't know what happens. I turn the camera on and I'm like, 
A good day, fellows. Jolly good weather. Spiffing. I think that says Christmas. Missing Christmas. It could be Voyage of the Damned, The Next Doctor, Christmas Invasion. It's not. I don't think it's any of those. Is this like a mini episode? <laughs> What's going on? Right, it says, I think it says Christmas. So I'm gonna go for, no, it's not Voyage of the Damned, you fool. Let's go for the next Doctor. No, it's not that. It, it just isn't, but I'm gonna have to go for it. Ah, oh, you're joking, you're joking. What did I say two minutes ago? What did I say two minutes ago? Could it be Unicorn and the Wasp? It is the vibe, it is that time period. There we go. It took the gaze for me to get it. Surprise, surprise, I knew it from the gaze. <laughs> Damn, I'm disappointed in myself. But even now I know what it is. I cannot remember the Doctor having a bow and arrow in that episode. How odd. Does he? Does he use one to fight the wasp? Like, what's going on here? I have no memory of that. The dancing ladies? Nothing. No memory. The newspaper, I suppose, is talking about missing. Missing Christy. Not Christmas, you fool. <laughs> that wasn't great of me. I had a two, two, and a four. We could be doing better, but we could be doing worse. Okay, the tenth. Hmm, some sort of tubing. The camera quality is giving David Tennant, but the tubing is giving Whitaker. Like, I'm feeling like Kablam or the Saranga, the, sur the Saran, the Saranga conundrum. I can never say that. We're just going to take a leap of faith. You're kidding. You're kidding. You are kidding. <laughs> From some tubing. Some boys are tubing. I can't even say it. And I got it. Wow. Okay. I've watched that episode twice. No, three times in my life. I'm impressed. Did you get it as well? It was just sort of like the orange tint of it. Wow. Okay. I think I've peaked. I should probably stop while I'm ahead, but now I'm on like a high of getting it right. I want to do another one. Ooh, a long time ago. Far, far away. Ah, oh, no. There's something niggling right at the front of my brain. Somewhere in my brain. I just need to unlock it. I have no idea. I was thinking the Battle of Ranskorov Kolos because there's like the previous bit with, with Benny from Monsters vs. Aliens. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know his name. That's my best guess. I don't think it's that thing. No. That's all you you're giving me another another title card? 79 billion light years away. I'm just trying to think of the era. I, it kind of feels Capaldi-ish. Can you hear me? No. I don't think it's Whitaker, but it's not familiar to me, so maybe it is Whitaker. What was the one I just said? Can you hear me? I don't think it's that. But I think I would like another card, please. Oh, okay. Right. Right. I get you. Which one is it? Is it Resolution or Revolution of the Daleks? We're going back. I'm guessing Resolution. Damn it. It's Revolution of the da Daleks. There we go. Got it in four again. Sneaky, sneaky chibnall. Okay, well, not too bad. We've had a two, two, a four, a one, and a four. Let's do one more. See if we can get it in one again. Got a planet. We've got a planet. It's a Saturnic planet. Are we set on this planet? Could be smile? No, I don't think so. Where are we in? Could be like Wolfen 55? I don't remember there being a, an exterior of that. It could be. No, because Orphan 55 is Earth, you dingbat. <laughs> Looks like a very water-based planet. Midnight? No. I don't think we ever see the exterior of Midnight. Gosh, I'm not sure. Right, I'm going to go with Smile, just because I would like another picture. I think I've conceded to the fact that I'm not going to get this in one. So try Smile. Okay, we are in Capaldi, though. We know that. And we've got a Clara. This sort of looks like he's just regenerated. And she's like, what? What's going on? But also, this is kind of the look that the Doctor and Clara give each other permanently. The clothes. Is that Matt Smith's clothes? Is this Deep Breath? Well, because in Deep Breath, we're on Earth. I don't think we see a planet in Deep Breath. So it could be Time of the Doctor. And this is the sort of first regeneration scene. Ah. Ah. 
the planet, the planet where Christmas is. Should we try that? Planet of the Doctor? We'll give it a go. Not sure. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I would not have recognized that planet. And I did not recognize that planet. But I recognize that, <laughs> that look. And the look of fear on Clara's face. Sneaky putting, putting that in. I know I said that was the last one, but I'm going to do one more. I really want to try and get it in one again. It says, Automatic system failure. This looks very Whittakery. If it was Whittakery, what would it be? Is this the truck in Orphan 55? You know what? We're going to go with it. going to go with it and say what happens. It was not. A lot of water. A lot of water and a supermarket. What does that mean? Why so much water? Ocean. Under the lake. <laughs> it looked like a spacey wacy kind of thing, but now it looks like an earthy worthy kind of thing, which is what has me confused. Confused.com. It's still giving Whitaker though. Could it be like Futures of the Doom? Is it another New Year special? Is it like Eve of the Daleks? No, okay. Uh, Again, this is giving Whitaker a truck. A 55 truck. We know it's not. I feel like I've been pretty reckless with my guess. Could this be the Magician's Apprentice when they're in the plane? Or is that... I always get the two-parter at the end of season eight and the two-parter at the start of season nine confused. Is this Dark Water or Death in Heaven or the Magician's Apprentice? I'm going to go with my first instinct, which was the Magician's Apprentice and see what happens. No, okay, but we are in Hong Kong. Oh, Praxius. I did have a thought earlier when I saw the system failure. I was like, maybe that's a spacey wacy thing with the, with Praxius, but I didn't vocalize it. And now you're all gonna think that I'm making that up, but I swear I did have that thought. I just, I just didn't say it out loud. But I think because we are in Hong Kong, that's Praxius because it's where we picked up the lovely little spaceman. So that shall be my guess. Okay. It was Praxius. Kill, kill, kill. So I think I'm going to end it there. This was a lot of fun. I didn't do as well as I thought I would, but these were quite tricky. Let me know how you did if you played along or if you have been playing these. I will probably make this again because this was really fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed it and there are many more to do. I will try and resist the temptation to do them in my free time because Oh, I love a quiz. I love a quiz so much. I have a few Doctor Who quizzes that I've made that I could make into videos if that is something that you'd like to see. I hope you've been having a wonderful time. Please feel free to give a like, subscribe if you'd like to. It would mean a lot. Ah. I hope that you enjoyed. Check out some of my other videos if you fancy it. And I'll see you next time. I don't know.